Alright guys, how are ya? Alright, Christmas just went by. Did anybody get the Kindle for Christmas? Yes! You got the Kindle? I'm fucking sorry. The Kindle is basically an uh, iPad's like autistic cousin. I'm only good at like fucking reading. And that's it. Like, that's all I can do. I, I feel terrible, cause like, when you, like, who was like, the Kindle's a great idea. You can only read on it and it costs $140. Their new slogan was, buy once, read anywhere. That's what a fucking book is. You buy it once and you can literally read it anywhere you go. If I drop a book, it's okay. Nothing's gonna happen to that book. I can pick it up and I can read it again. If I drop the Kindle, that thing's gonna fucking break. Like, it's the size, it can fit in a manila folder, for fuck's sake. But like, people are like, oh, but Steve, like, you can hold like 50 books at once. Like, one time you can have like 50 books at any time. You're just sitting there and you're like, what book do I want to read? I have 50 choices. Who the fuck is reading 50 books at one time? Do you have literaturistic ADD where you hop from story to story and somehow put all the stories together like some crazy chronicles of Narnia? No, you don't, because you only read one book at one time. Retarded. <laughs> Alright, the thing I also hate, Jersey Shore is bullshit. Yes. Alright, thank you. That whole cast looks as like a bunch of Oompa Loompas in the cast of the Muppets went to a party, got way too drunk, and fucked every time. And that just produced this terrible show. Like, Snooki... Did a plastic surgeon think it would be funny to, like, put breast implants in her face? The situation looks like a real-life version of Popeye. And girls go crazy for it. He's 33 years old, ladies. That's like the kids you babysit for father. Imagine if he came home like, yeah, uh, we got a situation here. Oh my god, are the kids okay? Like, what did I do? Oh my god, I put him to bed at 8.30 like you said. I don't... This is the situation. And he pulls up his shirt and his beer gut falls out. You don't want to have sex with him. That doesn't make you horny. It makes you want to call the cops because it's creepy as shit. Like, a situation made more money than Barack Obama and Bill Murray combined. Huh? What? Huh? What? Huh? That's like teaching your kid to be successful and like try really hard and get a really good job. Fuck that. Do steroids, drink a lot, and fuck women and you're gonna get tons of money that's just how america works the place of dreams oh my god and and ronnie oh my ronnie is the biggest joke on that entire show he says he's a devout christian he has cross tattoos everywhere having a cross tattoo is like saying yeah i'm not the perfect christian but it's all right and got a cool <laughs> you know? <laughs> He's on like a rhythm. Do you guys notice that when James laughs? Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! You need to make a song about that, Andy. I will. <laughs> nice tempo over it. Um, I, uh, I realized uh, this summer that the most embarrassing thing anyone can ever do is, uh, for the first time, learn how to wakeboard. <laughs> It's so hard. Like, you just sit in the water, the boat starts going, and you gotta stand up. Yep. Yeah, got it! They pull the boat around like a shark swarming an innocent prey. Look, are you okay? No, yeah, the lake just five-starred my entire body. I definitely have a concussion, and I think I shit blood. <laughs> God's like, yeah, let's just give it another try. I'm like, okay, dokey then. All right. Got it. <laughs> Fall again. Too hard. Too hard for me. Um, uh, these, uh, I've been growing my hair out lately. Woo! Yeah. And uh, girls don't really like it because they're like, uh, can you please trim it? I keep getting stuff in my mouth. Do you guys get it? That joke's about blowjobs. But I haven't gotten laid in six months. No. Six months. No. I've got a bottle of whiskey in the car. Six months. <laughs> All right? Which means I watch a lot of porn. Oh my God, do I watch porn. But it's gotten 
the point where like I don't even get horny? I just get jealous? Like, why can't that be me finding the school bus that broke down full of the sorority girls on their way to Nymphomania Festival 2011 Extrava Palooza? Like, that's my dream! Every day I wake up, it's like, please, please on 83, just let it today. Please. God, please. These next three jokes are uh, racist. Um, <laughs> black people are really fucking good at sports. Um, like they, they, they can turn on a dime. On a dime. It takes white people like at least a half dollar. But in, in like retrospect, it's all parallel. It all works out in the end because white people make five times more money. <laughs> oh, okey dokey then. All right. Hope you like the next one because I believe that if given the opportunity, people from Israel and Palestine would be amazing quarterbacks. You would be good too if all you did was throw rocks at targets your whole life. <laughs> Ready, set! <laughs> That's how we do it, praise Allah. <laughs> All right. Um, I came up with a new game. Um, it's called uh, Flipping People Off. Uh, the way you play is you drive and you flip people off. Um, but people jump into this game way, way too fast. You got to know that there's boundaries. Um, it's pretty much okay to do it wherever you're going. Don't do it in the ghetto. Don't play this game in the ghetto. Um, I was fucking stabbed. Um, and it's kind of weird because it's like, whistle at a white woman, you get beat to death. Uh -huh. Flip off a black man, and you get stabbed. Uh -huh. That's the kind of world we live in. Frank got the reference. Uh -huh. And until. Um, and until. Uh -huh. All right, bringing it back. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> He's buried by my house. Oh, is he? Yeah. It's the same graveyard that got dug up. Whoa, people are stealing bodies? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Like 300 of them. <laughs> yeah. That's... Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Spartans? <laughs> fuck yeah. The FBI was <laughs> This is a I'm huge investigation. Where's Evan Till's body? We're gonna get shit for this again. Um, no, but... Uh, take a, We're gonna take a second here. Uh, the Susan uh, G. Komen Institution, uh, honestly, I give my heart out to those people. They, they do so much... Not only have they raised like millions and millions and millions of dollars for breast cancer, um, but they've also like monopolized a disease, which I just think is like fantastic. Way to go, guys. You know, because you're like the Microsoft of cancer. <laughs> like non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is like Apple, and Intaxia and Tenagecasia is Linksys. And since you guys don't know what either of those are, you got the joke, all right? But the thing is like, They've raised just uh, all this money. They even have their own month. Which means that breast cancer is equally important to the entire black population. <laughs> the entire NFL, they, they all jumped on board, which I thought was awesome. Uh, pink stuff all the way. But it's gotten so much like in our face that I've kind of forgotten that like other diseases like exist, you know? My sister has cystic fibrosis. And I'm like, all right, Maggie, cool, you have CF, all right. I don't see anything on the front of this Cheerios box about that. Oh, you're, it hurts when you breathe? That woman has lumps in her tent. And it fucking hurts, okay? It hurts so bad, and she needs to get them out right now, okay? And the fact that the NFL, you know, put all that time and effort into, uh, you know, just all that pink shit, it just proves, once again, that no matter what men do, we are still going to be controlled by boobs. No matter what, what we try, there's no way around it. It's just going to happen. Um, I'll, end, I'll end with this uh, last one. Um, I, I, hate, I hate cursive. Um, pisses me right off. We took like three years just so I could basically learn how to write my name when I use a credit card. Fantastic. So the only thing that I know how to spell is my name, which is Stephen Sheehan. So the only words that I could spell would be she, shat, haste, at vans. 
<laughs> so if I'm borrowing someone's notes in class and it's in cursive, we better be learning about women who are quickly pooping on Honda Odysseys. Otherwise, I don't really have a chance of passing this class. Which is probably why I'm at community college. Thank you guys very much. My name is Steve Sheehan. Give it up to Steve Sheehan one more time. That was awesome.